Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> President Trump calling out conditions in Baltimore. The most unsafe city in the country, in our country, is Baltimore. It receives top of the line, billions of dollars. All of this money goes there, and take a look at it. Our next guest says Trump is shining light on Baltimore's undeniable truths in a new op-ed saying, I grew up on welfare, here's what I know. That author, president of the Heritage Foundation, Kay Coles James, joins us right now with more. Good morning to you, Kay. Good morning. Good morning. So why did you write the op-ed? What did you want to tell America about <laughs> your childhood, uh, you know, framed around the whole Baltimore conversation that America seems to be having right now? You know, I wrote it because even with the controversy that was going on surrounding, you know, Elijah Cummings and the president, take the light off of that controversy for a moment and look at the people who live in those communities. And I'm just grateful that, uh, that we have the opportunity to have this conversation. Yeah. The people who are living in those deplorable conditions um, need our help. And uh, so thankfully, right. this put a bright light on it, and we're able to address these and, issues. And here's the challenge. It's not just money. People say, okay, give them money. Not really. No. Uh, an audit finds that Baltimore has received about $2 billion to compensate 30,000 public employees. And we know that the cops have been told to basically stay out because of the controversy that happened a few years ago. A deadly combination. You know, that is so sad. People believe that more money equates to better conditions. Ask the people who live in those communities and they will tell you that's not the case. There are certain things that the President of the United States can do. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that a governor can do, a mayor can do, a member of Congress. But at the top of the list, and this is my message, I tell people, you know, we've got to have some solutions in case the cavalry doesn't come. Mm. What happens if none of that support that we've been yearning for for years comes through? So what is it that we can do today? Right. What, are the, what are the institutions in any civil society that uh, hold it all together? We need to support families. We need to support churches. Mm -hmm. We need to support community institutions and then demand of our governments, okay. demand of them at the federal, state, and local level that they come in and support those institutions. Okay, I want folks at home to hear your story because it is so powerful. You write mm -hmm. in this op-ed, I am not a conservative in spite of the fact that I came out of poverty. Huh. I am a conservative because of it. How did you become a conservative? And tell us your story growing up in Richmond on welfare. Well, I did. I grew up in Richmond, Virginia. I came out of a public housing project there, Creighton Court. I will tell you that one of the solutions is family because when I was four years old, my mother's sisters stepped in, surrounded her, helped her raise those children, and I was raised by an incredible aunt and uncle. Uh, my definition, incidentally, of a conservative is someone who has the audacity to believe what their grandmother taught them. It's not weird, it's not deep, it's not complicated. It's common sense conservative principles. And in my, in my earlier life, I was actually, you know, embedded in the Democrat Party. But I decided I wanted solutions that worked. And I was angry enough, I was sad enough, I was determined enough that I wanted to know what did the data, the research, and the analysis tell us. And we know that uh, entitlement programs, as they are currently mm -hmm. configured, are not helping right. the individuals that they were designed to help. Right. Elijah Cummings has an opportunity to help, uh, and let's see if he'll take it, because he's got the spotlight yeah. on a city that needs it, and you know that very well. Yes. Kay, thanks so much. Thank you, Kay. Oh, thank you. Uh, read her op-ed at foxnews.com. It's, it's great. It's it excellent. is great. Meanwhile, Council